Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back, Cooking with Chef Buka. So today we're gonna do a Jamaican favorite. Pastime. Every day we eat it, night, breakfast and lunch. We're going to make some Jamaican beef patty today. First we're going to get into the dough, then we're going to show you how we do the beef to go inside the dough, right? Check my ingredients out. So, simple ingredients to make this. You know what I'm saying? One of the most authentic, you know what I'm saying? Simple, easy recipe to work with. But you got to get the dough right. If the dough is not right, it's not going to be flaky and nice enough. So what we want to do today, we're working with flour, a little bit of sugar, Salt, whole lot of butter, cold water, turmeric. All right, I'm gonna tell you the ingredients as I put them in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put three and a half cup flowers inside of it. I'm not even gonna sieve it because I don't need to sieve it, okay? Yeah, so three and a half. One, and I got my cup measurement right here to make sure. You know, two, three, and a half. All right. Sometimes this recipe calls for two tablespoons to work, but sometimes to work it's a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here. Okay, that's one tablespoon I'm gonna put in here right now. Should I get that? Hold oh, on. Can be a little bit more than one. If you you know, if you feel like that. But if you like your stuff to have more like a real yellowish patty looking, you can do more. But I think one is perfect for me. Let's say one and a little bit. Alright? Put that in there. Then we need one teaspoon that was a tablespoon so we need one teaspoon salt right in there one teaspoon sugar it's simple and easy you know nothing major to it just like that what I normally do is mix it up before I add anything else in there I'm gonna mix it this right up so nothing really don't kind of stick together and your butter that is you know, to be melted but your butter is supposed to be melted but not too soft and you want that to kind of fold in to kind of give it the layers you know? yeah, so that's right there and the butter right here I have two two hundred and I want to run it off in grams so you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? I got 220 grams right here, all right? Butter, so let's cut this up. More easier to work with in there. All right. And I'm gonna get that uh, mat for 280 grams in ounce. I let you guys know what it is in ounce, ounces, okay? So, just in case, you know, somebody not used to that kind of metric, they can convert it the other way. So what we're gonna do now, right there, we're just gonna put it in, in the mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can use your hand to make it as well. Folding it little by little, add water little by little, you know, get where you're supposed to be. We used to make it with our hand, but, you know, we upgrade to a mixer, as you guys already see. All right now we're just using the mixer because it's here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Alright. No. Okay, that's it. Make sure this is latched the right way. I was gonna make this go for a five minute spin right now until everything kinda of come together. Then we're gonna start at the water when we come back. So yeah, this is the consistent you're kinda of looking for before you add the water. See that? 
right there. That's what you're looking for, like a crumb like, you know. Then you're gonna go ahead and add the water. And the water is one cup of water. Okay? So I'm adding little by little, I'm not gonna add everything one time. And you never know with the dough to the water, to the butter, you know? And it all depends on the butter, yeah, but some butter, water content is more than some. So make sure you do it slowly. You don't want to get the dough too soft, not too all you gotta roll it out thin enough so you can, you know, shape for the body as well. One cup of water was perfect right here. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna let it do what it do. Put it together when it comes back, we're gonna roll it. Let it go in the fridge for half an hour. And then we're gonna get into start making the meat. So you we do it chop chop style, huh? So yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. You don't wanna over mix it as well. So we're gonna take it out. Watch this. Right now you want to let the dough rest as well because it's for half an hour in the fridge. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make it into a ball. We're not going to even over knead it or anything. Make it into a ball. We don't want to over knead it or anything. Just let it rest. So we're gonna put it in here. And the reason why I kind of put it in this plastic because there's turmeric in this container. I don't want the turmeric to get into it. So we're gonna put it in the fridge for half an hour, and then when we come back, we're gonna get into it. So as we were saying earlier, we said this is the filling for the dough, yeah. So authentic, you know what I'm saying, Jamaican style beef patty with my kind of twist. And you know, I got Avenara scotch bonnet right here, but we're not gonna include this into this mixture because we got kids in the house and kids gonna eat this. So I'm taking the, the spice out of it. That spice is not gonna be inside of it. You know, normally somebody can add spice to there when they're eating. We got any, we have all kind of spice around here. So I got one pound of lean ground beef. I got um, old yellow um, Spanish onion. I add a little bit of bell pepper in mine. I got garlic, scallion, and I got thyme. Bread, bread comes over here, All right? I got butter, six tablespoon. I got paprika, salt, and black pepper in here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of my spice inside it when I start mixing it. Normally they start boiling the beef with water but for me I'm just gonna sweat the beef off first and get all the flavor you know all of it then I'm gonna add the seasoning then I'm gonna add the water reduce it down all right so let's get into it we're gonna go to the stove when we come back we'll chop chop up the rest so yeah we're trying to sweat it off without the, the water in there is yeah we want to get all this water out of it then I'm gonna add the vegetables then I'm gonna add another one cup of water and let it simmer down. The reason why I'm doing this, I don't want it to be lumpy. I want everything to be like, you know, evenly distributed. And if you get the good beef when you cook it, there's not a lot of grease. You see that? Yeah, so it's lean. You don't get a lot of grease into your pot. Even though the pot is though gonna be very greasy because a lot of butter in it, but you don't want to mixture that goes inside to be greasy. Yeah, look at that. That's what we're talking about. So what we're gonna do is let me cook off till all the liquid evaporate out of it and then we're gonna add vegetable sweat it off a bit and then we're gonna go put one cup water, let it simmer down, then we're gonna add our bread comes later. Alright? So 
And you see, all the liquid is gone out of it. Just a little bit of oil that I put in there, leaving there. So you guys already know I like to put a little bit of my green, the book of green marinade and everything, more flavor. And inside the green marinade, you guys already know what's inside of it. Okay, I got onion, you know, garlic, thyme, you know, all of that. So what we put in there is like a double shot right now, except the peppers, okay? Yeah. So we're just gonna let this sweat off, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the liquid. The butter is the last thing we're gonna add because we want the butter kind of keep that flavor in there still. So fold it in and try to cut your stuff as fine as possible. So this doesn't affect the, the dough, okay? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna let it sweat up. When we come back, we're gonna add one cup of water to this. Let it reduce down. Then we're gonna add the butter. Then the bread comes falling to come together, and if it's too thick, you can add a little bit more water to loosen it up, okay? Yes, that's what you're looking for. Everything sweat off looking all nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna go do now, I'm gonna add the spice. And in this spice we have black pepper, paprika, and salt, okay? okay that smells real good. Now we're gonna add a cup of water and I said it simmer down. The cook down, you know. The water kinda helps it to cook more sauce so you can get that soft taste of the beef, you know. So yeah, we'll put it on medium flame. Let it cook down and then after that three, four, five minutes, I'm gonna add the butter. And then we're gonna add a uh, little bit of the panko or the breadcrumbs to just kind of make everything come together. All right, yeah. All right, so for it's all, water is all gone out. So you got some water in there, right there. I'm gonna drop you in butter. Four tablespoon butter, yeah? To one pound of ground beef. Alright? The seasoning, you can do whatever with the seasonings you want. But I got one um, large onion in here, two cloves of garlic, um, four sprig of thyme, and four stalker, a scallion. I'm saying the pepper is supposed to be half a scotch bonnet. But I didn't add the pepper in there. Same. Teaspoon salt, teaspoon black pepper, teaspoon paprika, okay? And the breadcrumb is supposed to be half a cup, but you choose whatever you want. If you want yours to be a little bit more kind of on the soggy side or more on the runny side. So we're going to see what we do. First, I'm not going to put all of it in there. I'm going to put half first, okay? And then we we'll work from there. Maybe half is good enough, maybe half is not good enough, but I think half is good enough. You don't want it too dry as well, okay? So I think maybe we have enough bread from the Yeah. Yeah. Breadcrumbs is already cooked bread. You don't know, need to cook anymore. And when you go in the oven and bake, that moisture inside of it is going to come out. Yeah, I think that's right there. That's good right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to let it cool down. Then we're going to start roll out our dough when it cool down. Then we're going to start making some patty from there. Alright, so as I said, show you the technique again. Hope you close them. You know, with a fork, just like that. Easy does it, huh? Really nothing to it. 
not difficult, it's just a little bit time consuming, but you gotta take the time you know, to do what you do, because that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Just like that. So just put him over and on the cooking board right here. I'm polishing him up. I make a couple of them bigger than normal because some greedy people in the house have decided they don't want them, they don't want theirs to be that small. So sometimes we do things and request as well. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So polish them up. I'm going to put them in the oven. Right now, oven set at 365. 15 to 20 minutes. Touch this one up a little bit more. Uh, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so when we come back, we're going to get into it. You see, finishing touch. Let you see a little bit what's going on in the oven as well, alright? And what we tell us, it's nice and lovely. Yeah. That's 30 minutes right there. Perfect. Everything perfect. Do a nice, crispy. You see that? Wee! You can see the flaky right here. See that? Flaking already start breaking off. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. We're gonna let it cool down a bit, then we're gonna cut a few so you can see inside to see all that crust and nice juicy inside. Yes. So yeah, finishing touch right here. Nice, firm, crispy. Crispy till you know you almost pop flaky right there. So still still a bit warm. We're gonna cut into it right now and see what it is. Okay, see if we can see exactly what's going on inside right here. Oh yeah, definitely. Nice. Yep. Yep, you see the flaky crust right there? That's what I'm talking about. Still juicy. See that? That's what I'm talking about. So see if we can get a presentation for you guys, all right? Stack a few of them together, but look real nice. Flaky and nice. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, man. Juicy beef, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Check me out. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Like, share, comment, you know what I'm saying? Spread it, you know, we need some more energy onto the channel. So we're putting out some more energy, some, you know, some more good products coming soon. Stay tuned. Bless and love. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.